Okay guys, I've got another tutorial for you today. This time it is going to be on shading. Uh, shading in Toon Boom can be done multiple ways, but here is a way to do it that uh, is a little bit trickier, but should hopefully make sense. So, here you can see in my camera, I have different layers where different parts of this is Firestar is and I've got his head on one layer and his mouth on another so we're going to be focusing on this head layer and I'm going to be uh, shading this frame now if we go from camera to network and if you don't have the network tab you can click this little arrow and click network right here and you should get your network a lot of times um, all your layers will be piled on top of each other so you can just click and drag and pull them out and pull them to wherever you want. I've got them pulled out in a nice straight line that way they're easier for me to look at. And then what you want to do is go into Windows and go to Module Library. Your Module Library has a whole bunch of different tools that you can use. Uh, I showed you how to use the transparency in the module library a few tutorials ago. Um, and we're doing kind of the same thing. We're going to filter. And we're going to find tone. Find tone, you drag it into your network. You can exit out of there. And you want to take the layer that you want to be shaded and put it into this right tick and then pull this bottom down and into the composite and then next I'm going to create a drawing by clicking this plus and hitting drawing and I'm going to take it off of the composite and put it into this left tick and I'm also going to take this green off okay so now we have the head that goes into tone, that goes into composite, and the drawing that goes into tone, that goes into composite. Back to the camera, and make sure you're in camera and not drawing mode, because you probably won't see the changes that you're making in drawing mode. So make sure that you're in the camera, and you'll see your drawing layer, your tone, and then the head. Now, I want to be sure I'm on this drawing layer, but if I double click here on Tone, I can make a few adjustments. I can change uh, this to Invert Map, which you'll see it, it makes everything darker here. That makes it so that instead of applying shade, you're going to be taking it away which I think I want to do for this particular part. Um, otherwise, if you do it the other way where you don't invert map, invert mat, uh, you can shade like this. And you'll see there's a shade, but if I went over it again, you'd see where it overlaps and it gets even darker. And so I, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to use the invert map, and now I can go over as many times as I want, it just kind of erases what's already there. But also with the invert map on, I can change this to a color I like better maybe make the alpha just a little bit stronger mm, a bit too purple there we go nice blue and now get a nice big brush and you can just take off what you don't want to be shaded. 
and you don't have to worry about going outside your um, line because it it registers the drawing that you've made as the part that you're working on so think of it like the magic wand tool in Photoshop or like the selector inside It just automatically grabs onto that layer. And you can do this for all your layers. And then if I see that there's, you know, parts where it doesn't quite line up right, I can erase it to get the shade to come back right along that line. And um get this yeah. there we go now I just erase what I don't want shaded bam there we go and that's how you use the shader and you'll see it's put a, a keyframe down here so if I were to move on to the next layer you know it wouldn't be uh, shaded again but with how I have this mapped out, I can just move this keyframe until the head moves. And then I can do the next frame. So my next frame would be here. And you can see where I've gone over it with the lines here. Um, and if I turn on the light table, I can see the, the drawing. But yeah, that's how you use the shader. Or the tone, as it is called in Toon Boom. Um, I hope that helps. It will certainly help me as I'm only just starting to use it so if I find out any more tricks about it I will let you guys know there are definitely more applications of the module library that I am testing out and trying to figure out they all do a lot of different things and some of them are more complicated than others so until I figure out some of these other things I'll get back to you guys and have fun shading your animations. Bye!